Hi everyone, it's Sigrid again, Sigrid Soto, and I have an idea in my head from something I found at the shop, but before I show you guys, I need to cover up my address here, because on the opposite side of the paper that has my address has some jelly prints that I want to incorporate into this idea that I have. But right now I'm covering these little pieces and then I'm going to share with you guys. I probably, like always, I always press record before I'm even ready. I don't know why I tend to do that, but I do. And so I'll just chit chat while I push this down and leave you guys wondering, right? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay with me. I hope it's okay with you. And like always, my videos get partitioned on their own. So if you guys think I leave you hanging, that's not true. Not true. What happens is um, I use my internal memory in my camera. So it decides when to partition my videos. And I don't know why I haven't looked to see every what does it partition. Hopefully I remember to do that today. I'm almost there. I'm almost done covering it up. I've got three more and then I can put it on the camera. Almost there. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm covering these little cardboards with glue and off camera until I'm able to cover up my address. I'm placing them down on top of a print, a jelly print. I was going to gesso these little guys here, these, uh, let me move that. I was going to gesso uh, these cardboards, but I figured, why gesso when I have such pretty jelly prints? Why not keep some of my stash that I send in Happy Mail? Why not keep some of my prints and keep them with me and make something from them? All right, we have it. Okay, so this is what I want to share. Um, this whole thing, this plastic holder that holds these cards, came in a kid's toy. Now, the box was destroyed. The person that gave me a bag of stuff to sell, she gave them to me so that I can sell them. Uh, this was in her bag. Sorry, short of words. And the box was destroyed, and I don't know if the whole game was even complete or if this is a whole game. It looks to me like it might be like some kind of memory game where you have two or three and you have to be flipping. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but I've had it for about two months and I've been wondering what to do with it, what to do with it. And I was watching Gina Aaron's one of her latest videos, I think it is, where she talks about, just really quick, or it's a room tour that she does. And she mentions that she has prompts that give her ideas on what to do next on her art. And I said, well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reclaim these pieces and turn them into my own prompts. And I love that they come in this little container here. 
So, this is what I'm doing. I have all my jelly prints out. And I have a jelly, I have a print on the opposite side. And I really enjoyed that print. So why not keep it to myself? And yes, this is um, a voting thing. Why not reuse it, right? Why toss it? So it's going to be a long process. I'm not going to keep recording through the process, but this is the first step. So if you have any cardboard hanging around, and then some nice pieces of art that you want to use, just remember to keep the art, or yeah, that's going to be on the opposite side of these little cards, which I'll write prompts on. Just kind of keep, well, you don't have to. You don't have to do anything I say, obvious, but I'm keeping my jelly print on the opposite side. Basically what I'm trying to say is I choose jelly prints that are pretty light in color so that when I go to write on the opposite side, I don't have too much problems looking for a particular marker that will write nicely. Now I have some space here and it's just going to be there. It's not going to get wasted. Once I'm done and this is done drying, this piece right here will be used up somewhere else. But that's what we're doing. So on the second video, once these are dried up, you'll see me writing props on the opposite side. So like I said, any cardboard will work. Um, pick up cardboard from your grocery stores. The best place that I've found to pick up cardboard is Costco. They always have big, big, big slabs of cardboard being tossed. So we'll have this piece left over also. And let me zoom you out a bit too close. I'm going to have to lay something heavy here to keep these down. And I figured I keep the blue part that you see here. I'd keep that uniform as is so I can't cheat. So I won't know what prompt is coming up next. And I'm going to put like, um, once this is dried up, I'm going to put prompts that help me in my art. It may it be mixed media, anything. My working in my journal, sometimes we just get stuck. I know that there's cards you can purchase, but why purchase when I can make, right? And I make do with what I have anyways. So it just uh, makes me more creative. It shows my girls and it shows other people that don't get down, don't feel down because you don't have all the nifty things that everybody else has. It makes us very, very, very unique individuals when we do have it and when we don't have it. Because when we don't have it, we find alternatives as artists. And when we do have it, good for you. You have it and continue working and be inspired, right? So I need to put something heavy here. Which I'm going to have to move this aside, right? We'll find somewhere to move it. I 
down somewhere. And now I'm going to put something heavy on top. A few items. <laughs> One more. All right. Give that some time to dry. And I'm going to continue looking for papers to lay. See, this would be too dark. If I were to use my pen here, I wouldn't be able to see. So I'm looking for light prints. That's a good print right there. Let's put that as a possibility. Not too light. Not light enough. Not light enough. Light in some sections, but not all. This one's not even finished. Oh, we got some green ones I think I could do. Yeah, definitely could do that one. See that one very well. That one's pretty good. And we've come to an end, and this one's really good. So we have those so far. I don't know if I finished explaining what I was doing. Let me. Set that aside and explain. I have a feeling I didn't ex explain very well. That's good. Okay. So once they're dried, and I'm able to rip these cardboards off of whatever I'm pasting them on. So for instance, let's just say this card went here and it's dried, right? So we're just going to get this. I'm going to rip it off and we're going to just get this covered. A square. And I'm going to put a prompt there that's going to say something like, dots. And then I'll go to my second card and I'll write something like stamps. And then I'll go to my third card and I'll write um, ink. Uh, fourth card jelly print. Fifth card. And I'm just going to keep writing prompts. Um, metal embellishment. White pen, pink pen, whatever. Uh, glue. Glitter. And those are all going to be prompts. Whatever I think of, washi tape, that's a prompt. So, once they're all done, all these will look really beautiful, put away here. And when I get stuck, I'll bring these out. And, like I'm saying, there are cards. I don't know who makes them. I, it must, it, from what I heard, it's a lady. So, don't know what they're called. Um, since I'm making my own, uh, don't... I, I'm not looking into it or investigating what they're called, but they're out there. But like I said, why not make your own if you have cardboard? And then you can make your own little slot to keep them in if you like. This can easily be remade by using some of that foam board and making your own custom little tray. So when I'm stuck, I'll bring it out. And I'll just pick a card, whatever card, random card, flip it over and go with whatever it says. Alrighty, so that's what I'm going to continue doing. 
and then once they're dry I'll come back on and rip them in front of you because I'm not I don't think I'm gonna cut them out I'm probably just gonna rip them because I like that raw edge and and then start coming up with ideas on prompts and then after I put do the prompt I will probably seal the prompt or the word in with something we'll figure it out but um my cell phone's still drying and I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek there are videos and it's in the process of drying so that that you see there that's drying is the glossy accents over the image and even though it looks done it's still not done <laughs> and as far as those jelly queens I'm still in search of what to put them on which I think I just found something here on camera why not put it on here right let's see and then when I'm ready to print I could just mess like that what would be nice is a bigger piece of metal so I'm gonna hold off and see if I find something else Okay, ladies, talk to you very soon. My next video, video, video will be me ripping these card thingies. And yeah, see you in a little bit.